Hello there, if you want to create a wholesale area on your Shopify store of all your products, uh, you're in the right place. I'm going to be showing you what we can do. There's actually three ways that we can do this. Uh, the first option, it's a little bit complicated because I've made research of how you can do this and most uh, mostly of all these common tutorials, you need to go into the customize of your store and add a few codes. You need to find in a specific code, layout and blah, 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 blah. So we don't want to mess in that because we are going to give you a solution. Uh, let's say in a simple way. So you can do this by your own and you don't have to be first hitting if you can or you can't do this. So first of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get your store. You can have your account totally free and you might be getting a 15 days trial of all the Shopify basic stuff so you can see all the features that can be um, accessible for us. So now that you have created your account, now that you have created your first store, what we want to do is to add a few products in order to add some wholesale. So for example here, I do only have uh, five items then I can be making a wholesale. So what I want to do here is to first of all now that I have my products what I want to do is to go into the applications hit into apps and sales channel settings and go into the Shopify app store and here into the Shopify app store this is the first option that I can give you yes it's like really really simple but I need to warn you guys that sometimes there are a few applications that are totally for free and there are some paid applications so you need to pay some extra applications you need to pay some extra uh, tips in order to use this application and there are actually a few applications that are come with all your plan with Shopify so you don't have to pay for anything you can access to all the applications if you have a specific um, plan with Shopify so here into the search apps, you want to look for a keyword. In our case, that would be the wholesale. So here into the wholesale, we do have a few applications. As you can see, this one has a 14 day free trial. This one has a 30 day free trial. Uh, this one has a free plan available. So I'm going to select this option. And as you can see, this one appears to be 14 day free trial. So I don't want to mess around with this option. I do want to look for a free plan available in order to start making a wholesale. So uh, following these steps, it's actually really, really easy. So what you need to do is to install whatever application that you want into the um, into your store. So here into the wholesale pricing is going to appear for people who are interested in to buying your your item. But speaking about only for wholesale, if you want to um, enable all these prices only for those people and you want to hide that for from the local or the current buyers, the application is going to be helping you to do that. So all of them are actually like really, really the same. It's like no big deal. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this in the third way. So the third way is for free and it's a little bit more complicated, but we don't have to do any code. This is an alternative uh, thing. If you want to not pay and if you don't want to have to use an application. So what I did here is to go back into my store. I don't want to mess around here in the Shopify store. I want to go directly into the online store and I want to hit into customize. And here into customize, what I want to do is to minimize all of this stuff just for a second. And here I do have a different sections, right? We have the home page, we have the products, the collection, the pages and the blog section. So what I want to do is to choose pages and I want to create a new template. So here into this template, I'm going to be choosing wholesale application based on contact, create a template. So once I've created my template, uh, it's going to be appearing something like this, right? So here into this contact section, what I can do is to cancel this for a second. I can have this contact uh, option. And what I want to do is to fill, I want to create 
this uh, section where people can apply to become a wholesaler. So apply here to become a wholesaler. So here I can create my constant form for change dynamic source. And here I can edit my meta field if I wanted to. But once again, I don't want to mess around with that. But if you want to, you can add um, variance collection, customers, block sections, uh, and so on and on. All right, so what I want to do is to go back into my store. I want to locate the customer section. And here into the customers, I want to add customers. So if someone uh, applied to become a wholesaler here, I'm going to be receiving all the information that I asked for. So at this information, I can add this into the customer overview. So let's say that I add my first um, client here, wholesale. And I can add language, I can add an email, a phone number. And here, after I have the address, we do want to have tax. So here into tax, I'm going to be choosing wholesale. And you want to save this customer. So once I save this customer created, what we can do is to add a wholesale uh, collection. So I'm going to go here into the wholesale application. I'm going to hit into collection list. And here into the collection, I can create a new template for wholesale. And here I'm going to create my template. And lastly, what I can do is to add my products, which in my case, I'm going to select this option. And here, what I want to do is to add a specific slideshow. So I can choose uh, to put in here the information of all the wholesale of all the products to make the wholesale. So for example, I can um, add here the product with the price of wholesale so people can see it like this. But um, once I have a customer already created here, what I can do is to go a little bit back. And what I want to do is to make this uh, person that signed into my account can only access into this section if they are interested into the whole sale. And in this last part, you can choose to add a apt and beamed here. For example, this one called the easy lockdown. So what's going to be helping us uh, this application is to actually to uh, add a few account that have been created into my store. And those people who are with an account in my store, they can only access through their emails into this specific website. So if I'm a customer that is interested into my wholesale, let's say that this is the passcode enter the access code, I'm going to hit into enter. And here it's going to be appearing my my item with the price, but actually I can add the price if I want to do or maybe not. But as you can see, I can add the whole sort of quantity. And I can add that into the card. So I can I can be able to see this only if I am uh, if I sign it up. And if I have access now, to this specific store. So as you can see, it's not that hard to do this. Once again, we do have some applications that can be helping us to create something like this, but some of them are um, paid options. Some of them come with your plan from Shopify and some of them are totally free to use. But uh, so far, I must tell you that I haven't seen a free application uh, of a wholesaler, you might want to consider to have a low prices or to have just a little bit of budget to afford an application. And it's going to be really, really easy, but it's just depending on what kind of store you have on your own. So hopefully guys, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about these wholesaler options. Thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.